Hi there, my name is Jonas van Elf and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can heal or stamp clone non-destructively on a high pass layer. First I'm going to create my normal separation. I'm going to duplicate my background layer. Call this one low. Duplicate it again. Call this one high. Now I'm going to activate my low pass. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, blur it with a radius of about 20. And now activate my high layer. Go to image, apply image, layer low, blending, subtract, scale 2, offset 128. Okay. And now change the blending mode for this layer to linear light and we're back with the original. Now to heal non-destructively on the high layer I'm going to create a new layer above both of these a solid color layer. I'm going to call this 50% gray. Enter RGB values of 128 and now I'm going to move my high layer beneath the low layer. The blending mode for the low layer should be set to linear light, fill opacity 50% and we are about back with our origi original. Now I'm going to create a new layer above the high layer, call that one repair and use previous layer to create a clipping mask. Now, here comes a little difficult part, so I suggest you to use um, action for the use of that. I'm going to double click on the high layer to get into the advanced blending modes, and I'm going to uncheck blend clip layers as a group. Okay. Now what I can do is simply use the clone stamp or the healing brush, whatever you want to and clone or heal on the low layer, uh, on the high layer. After I'm done with all that, I'm going to command click or control click on the repair layer thumbnail and I'm going to create a new brightness contrast adjustment layer. Call that one contrast minus 50 and use previous layer to create a clipping mask again. I'm going to use ledger C and lower the contrast to minus 50. Now I'm going to double click the high layer again and check blend clip layers as group. Now what I can do is select all these three layers and put them above the low layer again. Delete the 50% gray, set the low layer to normal and fill opacity to 100% again. And as you can see, now we feel completely non-destructively on a blank layer. 